And he loves it. Uh, what do you it. think, Brittany? Wanna watch? Come here. Look at him, Brent. He's in his new swing. He One thing I love about it is that it's almost the same exact height as our bed. But these last two nights have been great. He has been sleeping so good. Yeah. Okay, guys. This is the reveal today. I'm going to show you a quick tour, but what do you think, Brittany? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is actually um, nighttime right now and I usually do not start my vlogs at night, but I wanted to show you guys um, the hope for our lives right now because Jet has not been sleeping well. Our rock and play actually broke like four nights ago and he just has not been sleeping well since we don't have the rocking like mechanism to put him to sleep. So I ordered him a new swing. It's like a little bassinet bed type thing that he's going to be sleeping in and it's called the Graco Duet Glide LX, the gliding swing, and it has a portable rocker too. So I'm gonna show you what the box looks like. We're gonna be setting this up tonight to hope that he sleeps better, and I'm gonna show you how he likes it after we get it all set up. So this is what it looks like, and then also I will give you guys an update to let you know how he sleeps in it in case you're looking for something for your baby to help them to sleep better because he does not sleep well. Well, actually, let me take that back. He sleeps well until about 5 a.m. So from 11.30 to 5 a.m., he sleeps really well, only waking up at about 2 o'clock to eat and about 5 o'clock to eat. So he does well in regards to that. But then at about 5 a.m., he just wants to be up because I can't really get him settled back down in the still bed. So I think this is really going to help. And the inside actually reminds me of what the rock and play looks like. So I'm hoping that he sleeps in it well. So fingers crossed because we really need our sleep back. Drew has been getting up. Um, and holding him in the morning so that I can sleep because I'm up more times during the night. So he's been helping me in that way, but he'd like to start going to the gym again in the morning and right now it's just not happening because I'm so tired. So we're hoping that this helps him sleep. He's actually... Are you playing hide and seek? They're playing hide and seek, and Jet is here. He was just taking a little nap, but now he woke up. Because he likes to eat all night. <laughs> yeah, he likes to eat all night. He will eat like every single hour in the evening, sometimes every 45 minutes, and it's kind of ridiculous, but he might like stock up for the night so he can sleep longer periods. I'm not really sure. But we're just kind of going with the flow right now and trying our best. We got it put together. It only took like five minutes to do. No, it didn't. Yes. No, it was definitely five minutes. It, taking all the packaging off and stuff. So this is what it looks like. And we're gonna show you a little um, tour of it after Drew plugs it in to show you the features. I might wait till Bryn goes to bed because she's that. being extra loud. One feature. What? We call this the Saturn feature. What is the feature? It turns them like in a circle. Oh, yeah, because one of the rocking motions. Oh, is that what you have on right now? Yeah. Oh, look at that. 
And I think there's a high speed and a low speed or something. Careful, Brenny. This is how you turn up the speed. Oh, With don't touch Brenny. He was just fussing and we put him in here. And he loves it. Uh, what do you it. think, Brenny? Want to watch? Come here. Look at him, Brenny. He's in his new swing. Look. He loves it. Look at him. You see him? Is it cool? That's what baby brother's going to sleep in. I think, think this is going to be a win. We'll have to see once he's all swaddled up tonight, but I'm pretty sure he's going to love this. We even have some Beethoven playing in the back. <laughs> you don't like it? What's this part? Good morning, guys. I am just nursing Jet right now. We are getting ready to go to my mom's house, and I'm going to reveal her new playroom today. It's very cute, and I'm going to show you guys... Um, everything in it. She just bought a bunch of stuff for it and set it up really cute So I'm gonna show you guys that when we get there But also I wanted to update you on how Jet slept last night in his new little bed his little glider bed that I showed you guys So he had a really good stretch from 1130 to 330 So that was four hours, which was great And then after that he had another two hour stretch and then he didn't sleep very good after like 530 He was pretty much um, wanting to be held, but I think he might have had a stomach ache so that could have played a role too and Then Drew had to take him out in the living room after like 730 so I could sleep for a couple hours So that's kind of how he slept, but the four-hour stretch was an improvement because um, I turned the rocker on I think after he had been sleeping for three hours because he started to fuss a tiny bit so I turned the rocker on quick and then he slept for another hour and I was able to get right back to sleep so that was a lifesaver so I think he's really liking the bed, but I'm going to update you in this vlog over the next couple of days just so that you can continue to see how he's doing and I will let you know if I recommend it or not. But right now I'm thinking that I really like it, uh, but I will keep you updated. And also this morning has kind of been crazy. Um, Bryn woke up at 9.30, which was amazing. But I've been getting both of them ready. Jet spit up everywhere, which he never spits up. He spit up all over his clothes, so I had to change him again a second time, and then I had to take a shower. As you can see, I didn't get to blow dry in my hair. I think I'm going to do that at my mom's house if Jet's being good, um, but yeah, so he's doing really well. Oh, and I wanted to update you on his clogged tear ducts. They are looking really good. He still has some, like, gunk in his eyes, if that's what you'd call it, but a very less amount. Like, we probably only have to clean them, up, like, one to two times a day. And we were having to clean them every couple hours. So that's definitely improving. But other than that, we are going to head over to my mom's house. And that's about the only update on Baby Jet right now. Just wanted to hop on here and say that leaving the house with two kids, one being a newborn, is no joke. Okay, guys. This is the reveal today. I'm going to show you a quick tour, but the kids are about to come up. So this is just, this is going to be moved. And my mom's still working on it, but she got this really cute dollhouse and the cutest little teepee, little rocking chair, and then all the toys in here. And a little doll cupboard here. This used to be my grandma's. Okay, here come the kids for the reveal. Come see what you think. Whoa! What do you think, Brenny? Wow. Whoa. Look at the new kitchen. Is that cool, Ella? This is so cute, Mom. Do you love it? So cute. Get <laughs> the cake. Yeah. Go share with Brenny. We gotta share. I need this cup, Brenny. You make that. Good job, Ella. This is so cute, Mother. <laughs> it is so adorable in here. Yeah. Hi, Erin. Guess who's idea that was? What? All my ideas. The tent? Really? I got that. Good idea, Erin. Brittany, did you go in the tent and see the pillows? The lights are tripping. Look at it. Oh, yeah, I'm plugged in. I love the pillows in here. Those are adorable. Ella, are you Spider-Man? I love it. My mom got all these little dress-up costumes from when we were little. I think that used to be Uncle Luke's costume. Look at Abby's face. They don't know what to think. Ella, I love it. 
Bryn just wants the zipper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Look at it. It's a little diaper bag. I remember playing with that when we were little. Look at me, Trap. You just pull it. We got out the baby yeah. stuff. Hi guys, it is the next day and I have little buddy here. He's suffering with some baby acne right now. So we've been doing some breast milk on it today throughout the day. It hasn't got much better, but we are trying to deal with that. And I just wanted to give you a little sleep update of how he slept last night. So it's actually like 7.30 at night right now. I didn't pick up the camera all day because we've just been relaxing and hanging out. It's Saturday today. And Drew has been outside right now. But I wanted to give you guys an update on his sleep and his little rocker that I showed you guys at the beginning of the vlog. Oh, he slept pretty good in it last night. Last night was probably the best night of sleep, like all week. He slept good until about 5.30. And then he was kind of up like every hour fussing for a little bit. He did have to eat. I think he ate at 5.30 and then he ate again at like 7 o'clock. But in between, he kind of fussed on and off a little bit. But he stayed in his rocker and he did end up falling asleep. And he actually slept until 10 o'clock on and off, like I was saying, fussing every now and then. But he did stay in there and he slept pretty good until 10 o'clock. So I was able to get like another, probably another two hours of sleep between 5.30 and 10 o'clock after all the wake ups and feedings and just putting his pacifier back in. So that's pretty good I would say. And then I did sleep from 11.30 until um, 5.30 with just waking up two times to nurse him. Once I woke up at about 2.30 to feed him and then I woke up at 5.30 to feed him. So that was pretty good sleep I would say. It was a successful night and he does like the rocker. The first three hours he slept without having me, without me having to turn on the rocker at all. And then the next segment I did accidentally fall asleep before I turned off the rocker. So he was rocking for the next two hours. Um, but it probably helped him sleep pretty soundly. And then after that at 5.30 I pretty much had the rocker on the whole time because he was just like fussing. I changed it. I changed the rocking from like back and forth to side to side a few times to kind of switch it up. And he really likes the rocking, so I think I might start giving him one nap a day in there because the other day I gave him a nap in there and he slept for two hours straight while Bryn was napping. And I slept the whole time too because I really needed a nap that day, so that's why I laid him down. But yeah, I think I'm going to start doing that um, when Bryn naps. I'm going to try to give him a nap in there if he's um, like ready to take a nap at that time. And... Um, try to start making like a normal nap time routine. I know he's only like almost three weeks old, so he's not gonna have a totally um, set in stone routine. He kind of just sleeps whenever throughout the day. But he is having a lot more awake time. He's been having a ton of awake time this week. Like right now he's wide awake and he actually looks right at me and doesn't interact or anything yet, but he does look at me when I'm talking to him, so. That's been really nice. It's been cute to see him start to have more awake time. And also an update, everyone is telling me that he looks like me. So let me know what you think in the comments. I can't really see it yet. Um, I, it's hard for me to tell when they're babies, but everyone's telling me that he looks like me. So I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. And one more thing I wanted to show you guys is I wanted to show you the book that I'm starting to read. So I have not read a book since long before I had him, probably like at least two months before I had him. I haven't read a book since then. But this is the new Nicholas Sparks book called The Return, and I'm reading this book. I'm so excited. It is about a army veteran, I think, and kind of a love story with that. So I'm excited to see what it's about. I'm only on page, like, 10, so I don't really have an opinion yet. But I will let you guys know after I read it more of what it's about and how I liked it. And also, I just watched the show Outcry on Amazon Prime. I did have to buy it. I think it was like $8 or something, but it was so worth it. It was really good. So if you're looking for a good um, like docu-series, it was a short little docu-series. Five episodes and each episode was an hour long, but it was so good about, well, it was really sad, but it was really interesting about a high school football player that got accused of a crime that he did not commit. And he um, ended up getting exonerated, but you'll see that in the show. But he was in prison for three years before he got exonerated 
and it's very sad and crazy to think that someone could get put in prison for a crime that they didn't commit but yeah it's really interesting so if you're into that kind of thing um like a documentary then check it out because it's really interesting but this little guy wants my attention uh-oh are you pooping and i think we're about to give him a little bath tonight so i'm gonna go head out and do that and then i will check in with you guys tomorrow to let you know his progress on his sleep and then i think that will be the end of the vlog so i wanted to show you guys one thing about the bassinet don't mind that my bed's not made this is first thing in the morning that i'm filming this but one thing i love about it is that it's almost the same exact height as our bed so it like lines right up with the bed and the rock and play was a lot shorter so i can actually just sit up right in bed and pick him up out of here and then pull him into bed with me so that is one feature that I really like about this. And then I'm going to head out into the living room and so I can be with the babies and tell you guys an update of how Jet slept the last two nights in this. Here's little Jet. He's got some little baby acne going on, so don't mind that. Here's your Cassie buddy. But he has been sleeping like a champ the past two nights. So don't mind my morning face. I just woke up, but I wanted to give you guys an update of how last night went and how the night before went because it's been two days since I filmed an update. I kind of wanted to do it all at once, but these last two nights have been great. He has been sleeping so good. He sleeps really soundly until about between five and six o'clock and then he will wake up and eat again and he'll kind of um, wake up more often after that like every hour and fuss a little bit or need to eat But he does go right back to sleep. He has the last two nights So it's kind of an ever-changing thing, but I think that he really likes the swing overall He's doing really good in it And I just wanted to give you guys that little update that he does really like it and the rocking mechanism is really good to put him back to sleep um, he likes the forward to back rocking and he also likes the one that kind of makes him go in circles So we've just kind of been switching back and forth between the motions um, To get him settled down to sleep and then once he's sleeping I will turn it off and then he sleeps soundly for two to three hours at a time So that's been working really well. So that is going to be all for this video I just wanted to show you guys how I liked the rocker and kind of take you guys along with me as we tried it out so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure and subscribe to the channel before you leave if you want to follow along with our little family. And we will see you guys in the next vlog. Say bye, chat. Brittany, say bye, vlog. Bye, vlog. Good job. Bye, vlog. <laughs> bye, vlog. Bye, vlog.